Before you start the boiler for the first time, there is some background programming that needs to be done. To access the first layer of programming, hold down the alarm reset and the menu button at the same time until the PROM version is shown. This can be anything from version 107 through version 110. Next use the menu button to cycle through the menu. The first setting is for min minimal time allowed in seconds between auger pulses. All of these settings are located in the manual. This setting should be either 26, 20, or 18 seconds depending upon the model of the boiler. If a setting needs to be changed, this use the plus and minus buttons to change the setting. Continue through the menu. The next setting is for maximum time allowed in seconds between auger pulses. This should be either 50 or 60 seconds depending upon the model of the boiler. The next set setting is maximum allowed fan intensity. This should be uh, either 30, 52, or 92 percent. The last setting is not used in North America, so this should not be used. Once you completed the settings, you should move ahead by one, and then you hit the on-off button. This will save all your settings that you have changed. If you did not want to change any settings, instead of hitting the on-off, you could have hit the alarm reset and this will revert back to the original settings. The second round of background programming is accessed by holding down the alarm reset and the operation mode button. Three horizontal lines will show. The menu in this background programming is, is chosen by pushing the operation mode. The first is the fan or the minimal intensity for the, bl the blower or the fan. This is set to 20 by default and should be kept at 20. The next setting is the auger running time in high output mode. Uh, this can be either 1.6 or 0.3 seconds depending upon the boiler. Again to change any settings use the plus or minus button. The next setting is um, auger running time in low output mode. Again this can be either um, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 or 1 seconds depending upon the boiler and again you can change the setting by using the plus or the minus buttons. Next setting is is the uh, blower running time in seconds in standby mode or min mode. It should be defaulted to 5 or 5 seconds. But it must be left at this setting. The next menu it should say no. or north, Basically this is for the North American market. If it says AU, it must be changed to no. This is very important. Uh, boiler will not run properly in the European mode. So make sure you do change it to no. Once all the settings are in there, use the operation mode button again and move ahead by one. And now to set all changes, use the on off button. It's always a good idea to go in and check all your settings and make sure they, they did take. To do this, go back in and hit the alarm reset in the operation mode, cycle through, and verify that everything is, has been set. The last bit of programming is basically setting the fan and the auger. This is done um, by a chart in the manual called Recommended Operational Settings for Large and Small Heat Requirements. Uh, you will find a chart for either corn or wood pellets. We'll set this one up uh, for wood pellets in a large heat requirement and this is a multi-heat 4.0.
First we'll do the air quantity at 100%. You hold down the blower button. It gives you a reading of 82%. That's correct, but if you needed to change, you use the plus or minus button. Next we'll check the auger duration in 100% mode. You hold down the SEK button, and if you need to change, use a plus or minus. Now we'll move to the blower setting at the 30 to 100 percent range. We'll hold down the blower button. Again, we can change it by using the plus or minus. Now we'll move on to the, the seconds, SEK button, auger duration in this mode. Again, we can change it by using the plus and minus. And the last thing to check is the min setting, or basically the time it sits in standby. It should be set to 15 minutes, and this is for all boilers. Again, if you need a change, plus or minus button. Some other functions on the control panel. If you hit the menu button, it cycles through all these readings. First reading is the uh, supply temperature. So the second one down is the return temperature. The third one down is the set point of the boiler. And lastly, that's shown as the flue temperature. To change the set point of the boiler, you hold down the set button. It gives you the reading. And that can be changed again by using the plus or minus button. Typically we want this between 80 and 82 Celsius. To clear any alarms, you push the alarm reset. To move fuel manually into the boiler like at startup, the auger button forward can be used. To turn on and off the circulator, you hit the circulator button. The boiler can be run in three different modes. First, turn on the boiler. Now hit the operation mode switch. When both lights are lit up under high, it is in full time high. This means it will bounce from full time high to min. It will not go into low. This is good for high heat demand situations. Hit the operation mode button again. Now you're into full time low. So it will only bounce between low and min. This is good for low heat, de heat demands. Most time though it will be operated in fully automatic mode, which means there's no light above the operation mode switch. It will cycle between high, low, and idle 